One bit of advice that I tell people that are you know, building a company or thinking about starting a company is I, I highly recommend the book Built to Sell because if you are building your company in mind to sell it one day, whether you're going to actually sell it or not, uh, making sure that you have everything buttoned up. So let's keep this in mind as we dive right into, you know, uh, the number one secret to building a exit plan for a billboard business. So Ike, what would you say the, the number one secret was for you? Um, and then we'll dive into the DST after this, but just kind of going into the overall exit for you, what that meant for the next chapter of your life. And then some of the challenges you started to uncover as you did the research. Well, I, I don't know if you're specifically talking about a business, um, what you know, lessons from an exit on the business specifically. Uh, if, if in that case, what I'm talking about, or what I learned, or what the secret was, is uh, being patient, um, which is a very difficult thing for me personally. I've had personal struggles with patience for a long time. Uh, my mom actually, when she travels somewhere, she buys me a turtle figurine to remind me to slow down and to be patient. So it is a, just a lovely gift to receive a turtle over and over and over, but it is a good reminder. Mom knows best. And so uh, that was something that I had to finally, uh, and certainly times I did not deal with it as well as I should have, but just be patient because uh, there are so many things, if it can go wrong in the transaction of a sale of a business, uh, it, it very well likely will happen. And, or if there, you know, there's snag after snag after snag. And the one bit of advice that I tell people that are, you know, building a company or thinking about starting a company is I, I highly recommend the book Built to Sell because if you are building your company in mind to sell it one day, whether you're going to actually sell it or not, uh, making sure that you have everything buttoned up uh, is just a smart way to build and grow a business. But if you ever go to sell it, you will save yourself a lot of headaches in realizing that you know what you have is buttoned up and what you have is scalable and can be repeated by somebody else. And you essentially don't know just yourself where all the bodies are buried, if you will. Uh, you actually have processes and things documented. So that's something I learned is I you know, we, we went through almost a sale once and realized all the holes that we had. And thankfully, a guy who was looking at sell, uh, buying our company told me all the holes and why he, wouldn't, why he wouldn't buy it. And so, you know, we go back to that lesson about wisdom and listening to other people. At first, I was upset. At first, I was offended, if you will. Uh, how could you talk about my baby this way? You know, which many of our uh, business owners look at our business like a baby almost, a child. But then once I got over myself on the uh, feedback, uh, I took to heart what he had to say, a very wise person, and then buttoned up a lot of the loose ends over the next 12 months and was able to sell the company uh, for a good amount more than we were previously entering into a potential interaction, uh, uh, a potential uh, transaction for. Amazing. So it sounds like having patience is the number one secret, but not only that, I guess even having, having uh, the humility, I think I also cut you out of that to take the wisdom and instead of uh, either making excuses or getting upset or making that drive you somewhere else, you use that as fuel to actually take action, to improve the processes, the procedures, the, the books, the scalability, all of that so that someone can come in and you actually got a higher price for it. So it sounds like it ultimately ended up being a blessing, although it took a little bit longer to exit. Is that a fair summary? Yeah, it was a, it was a painful lesson, but it was a fruitful lesson.